everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. Today, we're gonna learn how to beatbox that emoji. <laughs> the first emoji we're going to beatbox is the zipper emoji. <laughs> this beat actually only involves three sounds, the kick drum, <laughs> the hi-hat, <laughs> and the zipper. <laughs> the beat goes like this. First, let's talk about how we make the zipper sound. Some people make the sound effect by using either corner of their mouth or the center of their mouth. For me personally, I choose the left-hand corner of my mouth. <laughs> Essentially, you're bringing in air to one of these corners really fast. As you can see, my lips are touching, but they're open enough so air can get through. Well, this side of my mouth is closed. It looks very silly, yes. It's okay to be silly. So you're gonna kinda play around with this to see where it feels more comfortable and natural for you. Like I said, for me, it's in the left-hand corner of my mouth. But if it feels more comfortable to bring in air in the right-hand corner of your mouth or the center of your mouth, that's perfectly fine too. So I would start practicing by slowly bringing air in, like this. Just to get a feel for it, the tighter your lips are together, the more zippy the sound's going to sound. <laughs> The sound's going to sound. Zippy, the sound is going to, to make. The zippier the sound is going to make. English is hard. Anyways, once you speed that process up, it should start sounding like this. Until eventually, once you get the hang of it, it'll sound like this. If you need to pause this video to practice that, that is totally fine. Once you feel like you kinda got the hang of that, let's work on the kick drum and the hi-hat. First of all, this beat starts off with a regular boots and cats beat, but you're replacing the snare drum with the zipper. So instead of it being it starts with So go ahead and just practice that first. The second half of the beat goes like this. So the first part of the beat goes kick drum, hi-hat, zipper. And the second part of the beat goes kick drum, hi-hat, kick drum, zipper. So there's a second kick drum in there. So now let's try a mix of the first beat and part of the second beat. So it sounds like this. Try that. Again. Again. Last time. If you need to pause this video to practice that, you can practice it at any speed that you want. So all together with part one and part two of this beat, it sounds like this. And that is the zipper emoji. Moving on to the next one. This one is the feeling sick emoji. You can have a lot of fun with this one and you can make different sound effects for the sick noise. I personally always go with and <laughs> The fun thing about this one is that you can really act with this one, right? This beat requires four to five different sounds. The kick drum, the hi-hat, the snare drum, or ah, and the sick noise. I do the beat like this. Again. Much like the zipper, this one kind of starts like Boots and Cats, but there's an extra hi-hat thrown in there. Go ahead and try that. A quick note, in some of my videos, I talk about the snare drum. You can do the snare drum outwards with air. That is air going outwards out of my mouth. Or you can do an inward snare, which helps you bring air into your lungs. The inward K is a little bit trickier, but it helps you get air into your lungs, which helps the routine out so much. 
To do the inward K, I start by my tongue on the roof of my mouth, <coughs> bringing the back of my tongue down to allow air to pass through into my lungs. <coughs> this helps by starting to slowly bring in air. <coughs> and then the same as the zipper, the faster that you bring in air, the punchier the sound is. Also for this sound, the front of my tongue is always on the roof of my mouth, right behind the back of my front teeth. And it's only the back part of my tongue that is folding down to allow air to pass through. But for this emoji, you can use any snare that you want. If you want to do the outward snare, that is totally fine too. If you're using the outward K snare and you're running out of breath pretty quickly, I would leave out the ah in the B. So you're left with this. The reason that you would leave out the ah is so you can sneak a breath in. But if you're using the inward K, you can leave the ah in because the inward K helps you to get air into your lungs to help the flow go along better. So let's try it slowly. For this demonstration, I am going to use the inward K. Here's the beat slower. And that is the sick emoji. And the last one we're gonna do today is the robot. First, let's talk about how we make this robot sound. This sound is made in two steps. First, you're going to position your mouth to say the letter V. You can choose any pitch that you want. The next step is to vibrate your lips together like this. So when you make the V, you're going to slowly put your lips on top of it so they vibrate together. And they're gonna kind of pucker out a little bit. And the closer that they are, the tighter and zippier the sound is going to be. And then you can change pitch with it. <laughs> A lot of times I use my kick drum to help accelerate the sound. The reason this works so well is because your lips are already together when you make the kick drum. So going from the kick drum into the robot sound, all you're doing is positioning your top teeth onto your bottom lip really quickly and putting some pitch behind it. So the next question is, how do we make the beat? Well, first of all, it sounds like this. The first sound is the robot sound, which then transitions into a snare drum. It also doesn't matter if you use the outward snare drum or the inward snare drum, but for this demonstration, I'll use the outward snare drum. So the first two sounds are again, and then it transitions back into two more robot sounds. I get this little robotic rhythm by sneaking a hi-hat in there. Did you hear it? The hi-hat doesn't need to make a strong, loud sound, but what it's doing is adding a cool rhythmic element to the robot. So it sounds like this. If you want to add a hi-hat at the end of the beat, you're more than welcome to. So it sounds like this. And that is the robot emoji. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you need to go back and practice anything, please feel free to do that because one day you're gonna be masters at beatboxing that emoji. If you liked what you learned here today, please consider subscribing and leaving a thumbs up on this video. And also please comment below on what other kinds of beatboxing videos you would like to see. Thanks for watching.